This is a plein air painting I did some months ago. I was in a hurry to capture the the shapes, some of the color. I think I missed the mark a little bit on value. So before leaving the site, I shot a photograph so I could refer to it. Here's a color photograph of that same area. The sky is much bluer than it was but still it does give me some ideas as far as the various values that I think I missed the mark on in some areas of my painting. So today I will be doing some glazing and some scumbling to come up with a, a better painting. I'm using Gelkid Light by Gamblin as my medium to mix my glaze. Just a little hint, I found that this cap was a little hard to take off so I ran the cap with the bottle under hot water for probably a minute and then took it off very easily. I'm creating a glaze with burnt sienna ultramarine blue and gelted light medium. Since my light is a warm light, I generally like to have a cool shadow. So I will want a little bit more blue in my shadow than the brown or the burnt sienna. And this needs to be mixed very thoroughly, otherwise you'll get streaks. I've added more blue to this mixture because it was just looking a little too black. I usually use a white palette. That's just what I got used to. And in this case, it would really help me judge the color better because I'm looking for such a, a fine glaze. So what I'll do is I'll use a piece of white paper to kind of check my color. I can see a little bit of blue in there. So you mix it a little bit more. I want it very thin. This is a synthetic brush and it has some long bristles on it. It's a flat. I will check my photograph to see where I want to start adding these darks. Now I have this photograph on my iPad and I'm seeing that there's a lot of dark along this pathway. Of course, I don't want it as dark as the photograph. It's, it's a little too dark there. I'll be rubbing away some of the paint with the rag after I apply it. I've added glaze to the areas that needed some deeper values. So I will now kind of rub these with some shop towels because I don't want them as dark as they appear in most cases. I want a little bit of transparency The elk it sets up actually pretty fast, so I may need to take some of that elk on a clean brush and 
rub into, especially this area here, it's a little darker than I want. We'll see. These, I just wanted some little spots of darker paint to suggest tinier foliage. I've done a little bit of glazing on this landscape uh, plain air painting. I really don't want to do too much because I don't want it to lose its quick strokes, its, its natural uh, quick sketch characteristics. Next I'm going to do some scumbling with some titanium white mixed with a little glaze and this yellow ochre. It'll be very little glaze because I need it to be a little thicker than a glaze. It's going to be scumbling, opaque. Here's my scumbling mixture. I have another soft hair brush, clean brush, and I mainly want to knock down the brightness of the yellow tones. I see I need a little more white. I'll be rubbing these with a, a Q-tip. I actually ended up using a Q-tip for my glazing. I'm taking advantage of this scumbling paint so I can add a little texture on this pathway. Maybe some highlights on this tree. I wipe this painting with a uh, Windex. It's basically water and ammonia to make sure there is no oil on it. A very light application. But when I dry my small paintings especially, I lean them toward the wall so they don't get much dust on them. Here's my painting. It's been glazed. I've added some scumbling, especially in this lighter yellow area. And it took me maybe a half hour to do everything, but I think it's a much improved painting. I used a little bit of paint to reduce some foliage here, to add some texture in here, sign my name, and I'm finished. Thank you. I'll see you next time.